Hello my friends, this is Pete Walper. I thought I'd do a little talking today. Might not make a whole lot of sense when I carry on. I use a lot of Google services. Thought I'd share with you a little bit today. I use Google language tools. Let's see what else I got here. Google Earth. I use Picasso. I use uh, Gmail. Uh, quite a few of the Google services I use. Today I'm going to talk about Google Plus. I've been experimenting with that a little bit. I noticed not a whole lot of people use Google Plus, but I find it quite interesting. Uh, a lot of people might say, well, I use Facebook, but I use Facebook myself. But Facebook's more of a something you might want to share your kids' pictures, do your Aunt Matilda's birthday party, or some activity in your neighborhood, or with your friends. But, or you're more active in something like I am with a rail fan in. Mean, it doesn't matter if you're a football fan or whatever your activity is. Your other friends on Facebook don't want to hear all that. I mean, they get, if they're not interested in trains, they're not going to appreciate anything I put on Facebook anyway. So, a lot of other people do like trains, for example. I'm just using trains for example right now. But we can go to communities. I belong to four different communities so far, and I'm learning on Google+. Plus. Google is uh, owns YouTube, so I mean, I'm already using YouTube as a Google service. They already know all about me, so I might as well use Google+. Plus. Here's a community I started in uh, Google+. Plus. And I got, let's see, what, 35 members now. Let's go back. Now, commun communities is, let's say you're talking football. Let's do a search for football communities. All right, here's a whole page of communities. People started simply relating to football. Now, if you got on Facebook and carried on too much on uh, about football, your friends are going to get tired of hearing it, but you can go in here, pick a community with other people that are interested in your activity. Football is just an example. And there's plenty of people you can see what they got to post. I'm not big on football myself. Let's see what they got in college football. They got 7,000 members. And looks like a lot of talking going on here. I'm going to pick the bad example here. I'm going to go back and show you something else. Let's take a railroad photography. This community has 7,000 viewers. One thing you can do when you, you can post videos and photos on in these communities and you don't really have to have a video camera. YouTube, is, most people are inclined to make their videos with a video camera. You can just take a photograph. Let's take this photograph here. Uh, somebody over in another country created. It's really a nice photograph. Look at a couple more. Whoops, went too far. Sometimes Google, my computer goes faster than I can think. All these are posted by different people. Let's look at this rusty old steam engine. Yeah, it looks like it's been sitting there some time. Maybe they're getting ready to rebuild it or something. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. If you, if you haven't thought about Google+, Plus, maybe you should give it a try. you got nothing to lose. And I'm having quite a bit of fun. Plus, I've added a whole lot of people to my circles. The more people I have in my circles, the more people I have that might be likely to watch some of my videos. And I produce a lot of them on YouTube. Anyway, that's just expressing my opinion today on Google+. Plus. Maybe y'all might consider giving it a try. Here's uh, four other communities I belong to. I like birds. So I joined that community. And uh, people post some interesting things here. Let's take a look at one. 
Yeah, this hummingbird's pretty nice. Great photo of a hummingbird. Anyway, thanks for listening. Check out Google+. This is Pete Walpar signing off.